So welcome here into the into the studio. It's good to have you hey, here. Hey, good to be here. It's a uh, it's a pleasure. I'm a little hungover, a little gay, but uh, just <laughs> glad to be here with you, sister. Well, I appreciate you saying that. I'm very happy to be here with you too. All right. I, I, Sorry, no. just hiding my erection. I, I, but uh, yeah, no, I, this is great. I, I, Big fan of the gals, uh, which is weird because when I was a kid, I hated girls. When I was like six years old, I thought girls were gross. Thought they were dumb. You know, you're allowed to hate girls as a kid, but that's really the only group a kid's allowed to hate. Because if I was a six-year-old that hated Puerto Ricans, <laughs> that would be weird. <laughs> you know, if I was like, hey, mom, I hate Puerto Ricans, she would never say, oh, you'll like them one day. <laughs> well, one thing that I've been able to kind of pick up is you do have that old self-deprecating humor, which sure. I, I do enjoy in mm -hmm. a comedian. I do hate myself. <laughs> Uh, I'm always drawn to people that, that hate me, I guess because we have so much in common. Oh, but uh, I'm not good with the small talk, you know, two things I can't do, small talk and eye contact. How sad is that, you know? I basically have all the traits of a serial killer just without the ambition. <laughs> I'm working on it, though. I'm working on it, you know? People always say to me, Mark, got to be more confident. Then they say, Mark, got to be yourself. I'm like, well, you got to pick one. <laughs> Yeah. I've been farting it up in the green room, and uh, I think I scared and That's the... why the door was shut yeah. to our little smaller green room. Exactly. You were yeah, just trying yeah. to be polite. Uh, we call it hot boxing. <laughs> really soaking it all in, because the smell of your own farts, for some reason, is enjoyable. If you farted, it'd be weird. But if I fart, I enjoy I don't know why. Is that a guy thing? Maybe. Because I feel like I would, you'd hear a guy. No woman would ever say something like that. No, no, you guys are more of a, maybe a queefing. Oh my gosh, but, okay. Uh, all right, hey, any Puerto Ricans here? <laughs> all right, too many. I, uh... <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Love Puerto Ricans, good people, good people. Uh, very passionate people, a lot of knives, but passionate, very passionate. Uh, hey, I'm just telling jokes, I'm a comedian. Look, uh, look, I live in New York City, all right? If I was racist, I would be exhausted. <laughs> So you're, and you grew up in New Orleans. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Good times. Weird city. I always say New Orleans, great place to visit, not a great place to grow up. It's kind of like a dad who sells drugs but doesn't hug you. You know what I mean? You, you get the fun <laughs> stuff, but you don't get a ride to school. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. I would never think of it like that. My friend actually works at a gay bar, so I'll go there from time to time, get a free drink, maybe a compliment. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> My guy friends are blown away by this. They're like, dude, you go to gay bars? That is weird. If some gay guy ever hit on me, I don't know what I would do. How about you just not have sex with them? <laughs> Seems pretty easy. Sir, how do you feel about gay marriage getting passed? Is that gay porn? Good Lord. You're a, you're a big fan. Ma'am, how do you feel about gay marriage getting passed? Ah, bigots. I'm not racist. I look at racism the same way I look at Nickelback. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's fun to joke about, but uh, you never want to see it live. <laughs> <laughs> so, but for you, being, I mean, you're young. So Black. getting into this business Black and... Black crack. Getting into this business and... Um, <laughs> I'm 35, 35, not that young. <laughs> but, uh, you know, not on the Viagra yet. Or am I? Who knows? I like to snort it. Okay. I, I think my weirdness has hurt me with the, with the gals. I'm seeing somebody now, but uh, boy, I was a bad dater. I, uh, I went on a blind date once. Right when the girl saw me, she goes, hey, I bet we'd have really cute kids. I was like, all right, I bet we'd have great sex. And she goes, whoa, slow down. <laughs> I, was like, I was like, slow down, you're nine months ahead of me. <laughs> But hey, that's why I'm a comedian, because uh, I gotta get love somewhere. <laughs> Whoop, sorry, is that a me too? <laughs> All right. I can handle it. I can handle it. I, uh, I drink too much. I um, actually got let go from a job for being drunk at work. Yeah, my boss called me and he goes, get in here, Mark. It's clear you're a high functioning alcoholic. I was like, wow, how do you know I was all so high? <laughs> I had an older lady approach me once. She goes, ooh, I'm going to kidnap you. I was like, wow, I could never say that to a woman. 
I said that to a lady, she calls the police. I would be curious to know what a woman could say that would offend me. Like, all right, I'm going to take you home, drug you, take advantage of you, and film it. I'd be like, all right, well, at least let me pay for the Uber. <laughs> I, uh, single guy, back on the scene. Uh, hey, all right, prove it. I, um... Can't call us, ladies. That'd be hilarious. Yeah. You know, start yelling stuff at us that, that we don't want to hear. Stuff that would scare a guy. You know, you, you walk past a group of girls at night. One of them's like, hey, I'll tell you I love you on the first date. You're like, holy hell. That is terrifying. Yeah, get us back. You know, you walk past a girl. She's like, hey, before we have sex, I'm going to poke a hole in the condom. This is a horrible neighborhood. Like, I was on the subway recently. I was watching an interracial couple make out. I was just staring at them. <laughs> And the guy next to them caught me. He goes, what the hell? I see you staring at them. What are you, racist? I was like, what? Racist? No, I'm a creep. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm hard. What? <laughs> Good to be here. I, uh, I Ubered here. I, was, I had a real chatty driver. Oh, don't you hate that? Wouldn't it be nice if there was a small talk option on the app, you know? <laughs> but there isn't, so you got to really find your own way to quiet the guy. I like to scare him, you know? He's like, hey, how about this traffic? What do you think is causing this? I'm like, probably the Jews. He's like... <laughs> All right. Nice quiet ride. <laughs> <laughs>